Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. We've been arrested. We're on trial. <laughs> God damn it. I like how the guy in the middle is just sitting in a kind of pose that thinks it's like, I don't even give a fuck. I'm just here to slam the gavel. He's the judge. I know. <laughs> That's exactly why. Everything's already rigged because the chancellor himself is the prosecutor. Where is Miles Edgeworth, damn it? At least he'd be somewhat logical. <laughs> I don't know. Are you considering, like, uh, pre... Considering he's not going to be born for at least a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> like, would would you prefer pre... Pre... No, wait. Pre-Justice for all Edgeworth or post-Justice for all Edgeworth? Either Edgeworth, because at least that Edgeworth isn't already out to get you to start with. I mean... I mean, kind of is, but <laughs> mainly just by manipulate. Well, no. No, nah, he would he would make sure you get a guilty verdict no matter what. Yeah, same thing with the Chancellor here, except the Chancellor's just a dick. Yeah, and like in this, like even if you get a not guilty verdict, it's just like not good, no matter what. Hey, at least I have a lawyer, Pierre, and he and he knows what he's doing, somewhat. And the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. <laughs> yeah, she kind of did. Yeah. But I think you mentioned something to me that's just like, uh... Uh, I kind of screw up, but you'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah, that part. Just like, he yeah, has like... It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> it's like, ah, shit. That's the part I screwed up on. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if you had gotten if you had gotten the pendant before no, her, I, it, no, I, it was already screwed up because I had messed it up. I did a re-recording of this, and I chose the second option, and it was it was still against me. There's all like uh, what I messed up on was, as you saw there, I bumped into her. What you're supposed to do is make her bump into you, which is a lot hard. Is actually a bit harder to do than it looks. <laughs> I think, like, yeah, if you did say it was Marl, he would be like, "Oh, you're lying," and I have proof, and then he gets like a witness. Yeah. Son of a bitch. But that's the only part that I mess up on. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, like, if on your first playthrough, you wouldn't know any of this crap, so it's, like, a really good what thing. What doesn't... I don't get what I did wrong, though, because, like, really, there's no way around making it seem like you bumped into her first. I guess what you're supposed to do is she's running, so you have to walk up, so her, so her running animation makes her fall over. I guess. Something like that. But if you're running straight up, then your running animation <laughs> bumps into her. That makes sense. <laughs> I like how he's just like, he deserves a medal for bringing a cat back to a little girl. I'm like, <laughs> it's just like one of those he's things like, like, what, it's like, what do you want, a freaking medal? And also he's just like, good, good, if they're buying it, even though we know this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I had no idea she even had a fortune. This is where <laughs> picking up the pendant before talking tomorrow will screw you over. Oh, yeah, and he's like, you're lying, because then he brings in a, we a witness saying, like, he saw him pick up the pendant before he talked. Yeah, it and it makes sense, because the witness that he brings in is the person that's sitting by the fountain telling you about Luca's invention. So she would have seen her. Yeah. And now for the stupidest way of figuring out if you're guilty or not guilty. If he's not guilty, stand to the right of us. If he's guilty, stand to the left. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I like how the crowd cheers when you get a guilty verdict. <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. That's the only, that's the only guilty vote I get because I screwed up on how I made because I screwed up on how you run into Marl. <laughs> I still laugh it at the really fucking crowd. Like the only way it really affects you is if you get at least two guilties. Yeah. And even still, regardless of the outcome, it's gonna end the same way. It just depend um based on if you're guilty or not guilty, you're gonna get certain items. In the next section, yeah, I got. I always kind of laugh at this part because, like, uh, I just see this. It's like, what is that? Six out of seven doctors recommend not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think in this version, which because it's a port of the Super Nintendo version, it's one of the judges is or one of yeah one of the jurors is is uh, glitched where even if you do everything right, there's like a 50-50 chance you're gonna get at least one guilty. Yeah, he's all like, eh, I don't really feel like you're making... They fixed that in the DS version. <laughs> it is still possible to get all not guilties. It really doesn't matter, though, because as I said before, as long as you only get one guilty, it's not going to affect anything too much. 
It's all like, oh, you got not guilty, fuck it, we'll throw you in the pen for like three days anyway. Like, the po like he's not guilty, however, he did run off with the princess, so we're going to arrest him for three days anyway. <laughs> so what was the whole point of the trial, then, if you're going to arrest me for three days anyway? <laughs> Freaking Chrono, he's like, oh shit. Like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Mara will just go after him. What's stopping you from doing that? You have a fucking crossbow. You could snipe the guards. You know, you can, like if your strength, if your uh, aim stat is good enough. <laughs> and here's where we find out that the Chancellor is just a total ass. He's a dick. Fucking terrorist. <laughs> fuck you! We just found out- we were just told I was found innocent, you fuck! <laughs> I like how Chrono is just like, ah, shit. Eh, yeah, well, I kinda saw this one coming. Really, there's nothing stopping Chrono from breaking out and just running out of here. He's just not being stupid. <laughs> yeah, plus I don't even think he has his weapon on him anyway. Oh, we will see that soon enough. Execution, what? <laughs> yep. Dude, Chancellor, we met for ten seconds and you already hate us. What did we do? You fucked with my predecessor. <laughs> I haven't yet. Wait. <laughs> How would you even know that? Because time travel's a bitch. I don't know. You shouldn't even exist because I already killed it. <laughs> no, we killed a Chancellor in the past, so... Guess it's not that one, otherwise he would be dead. Damn, that's a lot of ether. Yeah, if you get all not guilties, you get seven ethers. Damn. <laughs> and now there's two different things you can do. You can wait the three days, and if you wait the three days, Luca comes and breaks you out. Or you can just break out yourself by banging on the bars three times and pissing off the guard. Uh, instead of having to, like, sit through and then, like, he doesn't knock you out. And it's just like, alright, ah! screw it. It's a good thing that he hit me with the blunt end of the sword, otherwise I'd be dead right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the intent. Like, dude... Why do I still and have my this, weapon? You sneak up on guards <laughs> and knock them out. <laughs> why did they leave the man with a fucking weapon? <laughs> I thought they would take that away when you throw someone in jail. <laughs> That'll come back into play a little bit later. I won't explain when, Smack. but <laughs> you, you'll see. Anyway, we gotta fight guards, and they're really easy. Yay, critical! You're dead. <laughs> we literally destroyed a guard. Like, I'm not guilty! <laughs> what about that guard you just murdered? He started it! <laughs> Didn't you just knock out the guard that was with him? It was like, shh! Like, shh. There's like, no, I, yeah, I knocked him out. He's still alive. What about the one that's bleeding out on the floor? He started it! <laughs> Anyway, now we've got solid chrono, I guess. Now we got to sneak out of jail. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Eh, only not really. Just, just like nowhere near that level of stealth. Eh. Now you can actually fight those two mask guys up there. They're not very tough. Or, but you can also um, there's also a very small path you can use I, to just run past them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of see it right here. Yeah. And this is me looking at notes just to remind myself where certain things are, because you can easily just go through this and miss out on a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Experience time. Yeah. Plus, I want to go up and to the left anyway. <laughs> well, we got these blue shield enemies. <laughs> and uh, I kind of like this thing. Just like, as long as their shield's in front of them, I think they're pretty much invulnerable, huh? Yeah. And they... Well, no, they're vulnerable, they just, they lose their defense when they do that, so if you just wait around until they open up, both of them, and just use Spin Slash, then they die in one hit. <laughs> That's good. Uh, but it's pretty much a patience game with them a little bit, because I think, like... I mean, you can pretty much one-shot them either way, but it's faster to just wait for them both to be vulnerable, and then you can just take them out in one hit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's a bunch of items you can get while exploring through this. Plus, you get cool shit like this, where it's just like, Hey, we get to fight you on a bridge. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's the first time you get this kind of a battle system, um, this type of a battle formation. There are times where you're going to get pincer attacked, which 
Usually it's a bad thing, because if enemies have an attack that can hit you in a straight line, they can hit your entire party. <laughs> eh. And because Chrono's speed is just a little bit too low, he's going to get hit a couple of times here, but... Eh, these guys are wuss. Yeah. <laughs> these guys are wimps. <laughs> he's like, what am I doing posing on this fucking bridge? I should probably get out of here. Okay, now for the actual stealth portion of this dungeon. <laughs> You're going to be running into these guards here, and as long as you stay just out of the range of their vision, you can avoid being detected, and you can sneak up on them without actually... Uh, you can sneak up on them like the guard you knocked out the first time when you were getting out of the prison. Mm -hmm. So re it really doesn't matter if you get caught, because if you get caught, you fight them and you get experience, but if you knock them out uh, and past me is just like, wait, I'm going the wrong way because there's another place, I, there's another thing I can do on the other side. <laughs> I'm going the I'm going the proper way to actually progress through the dungeon, but there's more items and stuff I can get over here. <laughs> yeah, at least the blue shield enemies didn't spawn, uh, spawn up again. Actually, I think they do. I just didn't go for, far enough down. <laughs> oh god, ghost! <laughs> My god. Yeah. So now we're going to fight skeletons. <laughs> I like the way it kind of dances when it's like just standing there. Kind of looks like a... It really looks like an enemy that you would have fought in Castlevania 4, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little march it does. It's, I, I always thought that was funny. I'm expecting him to throw his bone at me instead of using that spear. <laughs> like, I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> when are you going to run out and fall apart? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Then you can open this up, but it only opens up halfway. Fuck. God <laughs> damn it. So we gotta find another way around. Thankfully there's a hole in the wall, so we can get in there, just not from this way. <laughs> Man, this is a really shitty prison if there's that big of a hole in the wall. Well, that's... there's... <laughs> apparently there was... apparently someone was in that cell earlier and had dynamite and blew a hole, and blew a hole in the wall. <laughs> Yeah, out of that, or they were really dedicated in getting through that wall. They probably just slammed their way through it. These look like the kind of walls you could just break apart if you hit them with enough force. Well, it's the year 1000. I mean, I don't think hitting it hard... Like, unless you have a sledgehammer, I don't think you're taking out this castle anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think taking a samurai sword to the wall is going to do anything but snap your sword in half. <laughs> eh, Lupin the Third would probably disagree. Yeah, but Lupin the Third doesn't take place in 1000 AD. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can sneak up on this fucker. Yep. Boop. Doink. <laughs> <laughs> and if you check, and if you search them after you knock them out, you can steal tonics from them. <laughs> and what would have been nice if you'd still gotten experience for just sneaking up behind them and knocking them out. Well, see, that's the thing you have to decide. Do you want to sneak up on them and knock them out and get free items, or do you want to fight them and get experience? <laughs> Personally, I'd go with the tonics, because at this point, it's better. <laughs> yeah. You probably don't have much money to to actually buy stuff. Boop. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Just... And then you can get a mid-tonic. <laughs> I just imagine he wakes up and like, oh, my head. Where the fuck did my mid-tonic go? Also, be sure to go into this cell. It's very important for later. Oh, I see this you guy. You have this guy here. I'm pretty sure he was kind of in our position. You, they never explain why this guy is in prison or why he's about to get decapitated. Uh, by the way, that's where you would be if you decide to wait the three days. Yep. They would actually take you to get executed. Yep. And they're going to chop your head off. <laughs> Sounds about right. But if you go through it this way and you save that guy, he's going to thank us by giving us items in his shop. <laughs> That's good. Oh, hey, look, more of those more of those guys. Hey, get a bronze mail, and then we got to fight more dead guys. <laughs> <laughs> but they're dead now. <laughs> They've been dead. They're deader than dead now, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> They have ceased they to exist. They never explain why there's just random zombies in this in this prison. Uh, it's an RPG. Let's just not look too far into that. I mean, later on... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's supposed to be mystical. 
I mean, this is a pretty elaborate uh, jail. They even have a freaking Iron Maiden there. Good God. You see, uh, Two of them. Imagine if they had thrown you in that instead of trying to chop off your head. Well, as I mentioned before, if you wait the three days and you're about to get executed, Luca breaks in and saves you. Do, 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 boop. <laughs> Certain guys take... Sometimes you, do, sometimes you can't knock all the guys out in time. You just have to wait until he's not looking at you and then just run at him and hope he doesn't turn around before you get to him. Yeah. <laughs> do yourself a favor. Don't turn around. <laughs> oh, I told you not to turn around. <laughs> now, this is... This can get kind of confusing, because a lot of the areas in this place look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get stuck running back and forth. I never did, but just just a fair warning, don't keep running back and forth. <laughs> oh look, there's someone actually in that other cell. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we can't open it. <laughs> ah, shit. Because if you go and open it... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, yeah, we can. Uh, he's kind of dead, though. Oh, all right, cool. Did, did we just take his clothes, or did he just fall apart like that? It just seemed a little weird. I don't know. He goes from... I on, and I honestly also, the first time I played this, I expected that zombie to come to life and attack you afterwards. <laughs> okay, now we have to run back over here. Wait, no, I already went that way. Past me, go up and run past those blue shields. Again, you can run right past them, but hey, free experience is free experience. Yep. And I would edit this out, but I can kill them in one cyclone, so... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's just a matter of waiting for the other guy to drop a shield. If he decides to do it, jackass. Oh, there he goes. Sometimes if you wait... Sometimes if you're targeting, they don't change their battle animation. <laughs> eh. Even though I didn't set this thing to wait, I have it set to active, so they should be attacking me even when I'm selecting them. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, are you able to switch between active and wait anytime you want, or does it just stay at active if you start your game as active? I think you're able to change it, uh, like, any time in the options menu. At the very least, I... I never bothered to check, so I wasn't sure. At the... I know in the later... I know in the other ports, like the handheld ports, you can. I just didn't know if they did it in the original or not. I'm pretty sure in the originals you could. I'd, I'd had to look into it. I, n I never had to, because I always set it to active, and I was always just fine. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it, this game is forgiving enough that, like, if you're just... As long as you just keep on doing attacks as soon as you can, it's just pretty easy to deal with enemies, and you know what you're doing. Yeah. I thought I edited this a little bit better. I think what happened was, like, I took a break to, like, go eat dinner or something. <laughs> and there's guards right there. You're like, nope. Nope, nope. That's the way you're supposed to go. I know, but it still it looked like as soon as you saw those guards, you're like, nope. <laughs> I did. I did. Cause I'm like, wait, no, I, have to, I don't want to go this way yet. There's still more things I can get. <laughs> more stuff. And there's another like hole. Okay, that's like the second time we've seen a hole in here. No, that's the hole we saw the last time that we couldn't get into. And now we have the coolest thing ever, where we can somehow scale down the wall of the castle. Fucking awesome. I don't know what you're holding on to to be able to climb down the wall, but hey, as long as I'm not dying. Yeah. And that's how you get this treasure chest, which is a shelter. Totally worth it. And then if you jump down this hole, you can get the other treasure chest that we couldn't get to before, which is much more worth it. Well, two of them, actually. Shit. Yeah, this is the gate that only opened halfway, so you get 1,500 gold and a oh, load sword. Beautiful. This is why you don't buy the load sword. By, this is why you don't buy the load sword from Melchior, because you just kind of get it for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at why that waste chance. 1,500 gold when you can just get it for free? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it was 4000 Whatever. It's way too expensive. <laughs> as long as you go out of your way, you can just kind of get it. And while it looks like you're stuck in here, you can just climb back up the wall. I still don't know how that works. <laughs> it's like, what's stopping us from doing this any other time? Just because fuck it, we can. I just... No, it's more like I'm just wondering what he's grabbing onto in the first place. Yeah. Maybe it's like the bit of rocks that are just barely sticking out enough to grab. I don't know, because I can't just... You can't just scale bricks, dude. 
Fuck it. Yeah. Corona was parkouring before parkour was a thing. Alright, Dragon <laughs> Quest 7 is downloaded. So name your character name your main character Chrono. He's gonna have the same hair. Well it is by the same art artist, so I know. <laughs> when I played Dragon Quest <laughs> when I played Dragon Quest Nine I gave my main character like Vegeta hair because I could. <laughs> <laughs> And these are the only soldiers that you can't sneak up on to knock out because they're just kind of standing there. But it doesn't matter because these are the same guards that we fought back in 500 AD and they suck. <laughs> Not to mention you have a load sword now, so you're pretty much kicking their ass in one hit. Even if I didn't have the load sword, I'd still be able to one-shot them. <laughs> still, it feels cathartic. Just like hitting with a new weapon and you see like the difference in power, you're just like, Jesus. Yes. Hello, sir. Ow. Help. And... Ow. <laughs> I like how he ran down the stairs before he decided to collapse. I think it's... No, uh, I, think it's just mem I think that's just sprite limitations. He's supposed to have fallen down. But still, it looks funny. <laughs> because Luca hit him in the head like four times. <laughs> uh, if only it had been like Family Guy where like the uh, one guy falling down the stairs... Uh, Oh, 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 oh. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, this is what would happen if you wait the three days. Luca just barges in and knocks out all the soldiers. And you got plenty of mid tonics too, so. Yeah, I was wa I was hoping I could use a shelter, and then I found out I didn't have another shelter, so I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just making sure everybody has what they need. Yeah. I thought I got. I thought I found a piece of armor for Luca while she was gone, and apparently I didn't. But we got a boss coming up, so it's a good thing we have Luca with us. Yep. And then I forgot to save. Gah. <laughs> We're back, baby. And I want to be level 65 with 999 HP right now. <laughs> <laughs> the trial's over, man. Well, it's still technically the same chapter as the trial. <laughs> we have to break out of this. We gotta break out of the castle first. Yeah. I forgot to check the uh, note there, but pretty much what happens with that note? It's just giving away the weakness of the boss. Th there's an. It's an. The note mentions something about there being a dragon tank, and it explains that the dragon tank can heal itself, and is also weak to fire. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a character on our team that can use fire. Yes. And we have a character, and we also have Chrono with a certain tech that can like neutralize one of its attacks. Uh, it also mentioned be sure to take out the dragon tank's head first because the head can heal the body and the grinder. And it's, when it says energy is stored in the wheels, I think that's when you like kind of an indication like okay, you want to use slash. I think. I don't think. So. I think you can, or it's just. If you just hit it in general. Yeah. But if you hit... Uh, the body is weak to fire, so just use Flame Toss. And just have Chrono take out the head, because he can pretty much destroy it in, like, four hits. Shit! You can also use Fire Spin if you have it right now, and it will probably destroy the head right now if I use it. Yeah. You would think Chrono and, uh, Chrono and Luca would have been, like, flattened like a fucking pancake. <laughs> for getting ran well, over it's by a, video a tank. Game, so. <laughs> I know, but still. At, that's its worst attack, is this goddamn missile attack. Cause he, there's times where he can use that move like two times in a row, and if it hits Luka, she's gonna get hit for like 30 damage, and it's freaking annoying because she doesn't have armor right now, and it sucks. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it goes. Kinda like that. Hell yeah, there's the energy again. Energy stored in the wheel, so this time I'm just like, flame toss, hopefully I can get rid of one of them. <laughs> And there's where I was like, I uh, shouldn't be using the fire. There we go. Now that the head is gone, I can just focus on the rest of it using fire spin. <laughs> Use that slash. Use the slash. Ah, uh, fire world. Yeah, good enough. Which is... Right now, I'm just like, just... Once the head is gone, just go all out with fire world because... Bam. There go the wheels. It's pretty much a sitting duck. 
Yeah, now it's now I won. The um the laser is actually its worst attack though, unfortunately. Well, it is a so last resort. Like, and make sure you keep your HP above fifty because yeah, that laser does a yeah. lot. Yeah. <laughs> because even when the dragon tank is just by itself and you're just fighting the the body, like the damn laser can catch you off guard. <laughs> that fire will always look so freaking awesome. No, this is the most epic scene in the entire game, in my opinion. It's where it tells you shit's starting to get awesome. Chrono needs to do. Chrono needed to do this more often. Boom! Hell yeah! I have no idea why this is the only boss in the entire game where Chrono does that. It, it's amazing. It just makes me wish they did it more often. And then this. <laughs> <laughs> I I walk all over you. Because no, fuck you. I think you're getting away with this. Ow, ow. <laughs> Please stop stepping on my back. No. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we might want to get the fuck out of here. Well, I mean, the Chancellor is not going to be catching up to us anytime soon. He's kind of all, he's kind of trying not to die. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, so how are we doing this? All right, you let go, and then we'll swing you up, and then... Uh... Like, oh, I'm not going down that way. I can see soldiers. Not a good sign. <laughs> I'll just hide out in the bar. Uh, Fuck! Oh, my God, no! <laughs> God damn it! Wait, Why look... are you guys still hanging out in the bar at, like, 2 a.m.? Escaping... Ah, shit. <laughs> Luca, shoot them! <laughs> Why aren't you shooting them?! <laughs> okay, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. Ah, fuck! Luca, shoot them for fuck's damn it, sake! Damn it, damn it. Oh, hi, Marl. This could have been fixed if you had just used your fucking gun. We're breaking out of jail. We don't want to get more reason to be thrown in jail. They started it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. How the fuck? What the? We literally left you hanging on a freaking bridge. <laughs> you son of a bitch. What do you have? Freaking teleporting powers now? Oh god, the actual can. Shit. Ah, uh, fuck. So you better shut the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up. What? Pretty much what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you little rebellious shit. I don't know. Oh, the Woolsey translation. <laughs> Bringing feminism back in the 90s. Fuck yeah. Women can't venture outside. They start picking up strange ideas like thinking for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely they fixed that translation so much in the in the DS version. <laughs> also, I like how she literally just took off her dress, walked off, and then we walked off with her. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guard just like, oh crap, oh crap, it's the king. Oh god, it's the king. Well, shit. <laughs> Thankfully, this is scripted, so there's not really much we can do. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those generic soldier sprites. <laughs> it's like nothing we can do, huh? Well, we can go right! <laughs> we can run to the right. Oh, very convenient. This was not here before. Well, but we kind of have to wonder why that's even there in the first place. Fuck it. We have no choice. It's not exactly like we can go through the trees. They're like fucking walls, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want that treasure chest. It's just sitting there taunting me. We're not going to get that for a really long time. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, man, I always like how they, they're they just placed everywhere. You just want to grab what's inside them, but they won't let you grab what's inside them. I know you like science-y stuff, Luca, even though you're in the year 1000 where science shouldn't even be a thing, but come on. <laughs> I also like that you can, like, no matter what you do, they're not going to catch you anyway. They're just going to stay in there. <laughs> you know, for trying to capture us, you really suck at trying also, to capture also, us. Also, I, I love this expression he gets in about two seconds. <laughs> it's like, how the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, that's the Toriyama animation I've been missing. <laughs> um, I was tempted to throw in, like, the the pipe travel animation like the pipe travel sound effect here but eh, fuck it <laughs> and now we're somewhere yep looks pretty 
Well, futuristic. I, can't. I was trying to think of something more clever, but I can't. <laughs> Luca, it's your you home. Looked at a... How do you dis how do you deduce that, Luca? You looked at a door for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this door looks different from wooden doors. It's obviously an advanced civilization. Shut up, Luca. You have no idea. Apparently the game doesn't know either, but we'll figure out where we are in the next part. <laughs> yep. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go play Dragon Quest Seven until I go to work. <laughs> I got like two hours. I might get somewhat far into it. So you're gonna go play another Toriyama designed game? <laughs> yeah, why the hell not? Make your main character look like Gohan? Hell no, I'm gonna make it look like Black Goku. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played that game, so I don't know if you can customize your main character or not. I think it's. I think that's only a Dragon Quest Nine thing. Yeah, I think. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next part. <laughs> yep. See you.